as as per our discussion from yesterday's session i explained that java is having three things complete java is having three concepts so let me oh, let me explain you what is what are those concepts that are related to java when you install java your system will have jre along with jdk jre along with jdk so you are going to see these two folders in your java folder of your system when you are going to install so are you thinking that only these two are going to be installed in your system will these two things help in your java program execution no there may be a lot of things which impact on your execution part due to that reason when we are talking about java programming there are three concepts here under this java one is jre second one is JD, jdk and third one is jvm what is mean by jre what is mean by jdk what is mean by jvm jre is nothing but java runtime environment jdk is nothing but java development kit jvm is nothing but java virtual mission jre is nothing but java runtime environment jdk is nothing but java development kit jvm is nothing but java virtual mission what are the differences between jre jdk and jvm does anyone know about this concept fine let me explain you this concept java virtual mission so what is this java virtual mission basically how this java virtual mission works and how it how it helps us in our program execution let us see so java virtual mission always runs java bytecode always runs java bytecode java development kit works with source code works with source code java runtime environment so what what it deals with it deals with java program it deals with java program and it contains and it contains jvm indirectly we are saying jre is the is the tool where it is the combination of jre along with jvm we are saying jre along with jvm we are saying but what are all the differences between jre jdk and jvm is this a programming part that you are expecting so what is the difference between jre jdk and jvm let me explain you in a diagrammatic way suppose i have this one completely in this i am going to have Two things first thing okay 
okay let me write this one what is what i'll explain you now this is completely java development kit which is nothing but jdk which is nothing but jdk java development kit now inside this java development kit jr sorry java runtime environment java runtime environment this part only this part jv m you can say java virtual mission which is nothing but jv m and what is this what is this second box java compiler comma java interpreter something something and development tools like that it will be there and along with this it is going to contain libraries comma dot jar files something something it will display and it have some other dependent files so did you understand guys this whole kit whatever the software that you are installing in your system is complete nothing but jdk java development kit in the java development kit you are going to see java runtime environment which is nothing but jre and the final one is java virtual mission java virtual mission jvm this java virtual mission along with some library files will be so complete kit is nothing but java development kit jre is nothing but java runtime environment which includes in the java development kit and in this jre jvm has been included this jvm along with some library files and dot jar files and some other dependent files is the combination and created with java runtime environment and along with java runtime environment combination of java compiler and interpreter and some other development tools will be created with java development kit so this is the complete set of jdk jre and jvm means this execution part is very important when you have designed the script and when when you have designed the program and when it is going to be executed when it is going to be executed without this jre and jvm it will not get executed the program will not be executed so due to that reason java virtual mission java runtime environment is having very important role in java development kit so any questions now will where someone asked me a question where is our java program sits actually good question so there will not like whatever the expectation that you have you are saying that where our java program is going to sit actually here our program whatever the program that you have designed or whatever the program that you have been written that program will be converted into bytecode first means whatever the actual program you are seeing on the screen will be for user understandable purpose okay but actual process is 
that program will be converted into byte level code and mission level code this java runtime environment which is having internally with java virtual mission and some other dependent files will execute the java byte code or so mission level code and it will give the output to java development kit that is the reason wherever the program that you are going to write wherever the program that you are going to write that will sit first in java development kit after that it will move to java runtime environment which will execute based on java virtual mission along with some dependent files basically java development kit will not execute the code it will support you to write the program it will support you to write the program it will not restrict suppose if your system is not having java are you able to open the eclipse software no so it it, it throws an error stating that some java response error something something it is going to it, it is going to display on the screen it is going to display on the screen that is that is why that is where your java program will work only in the presence of java software that java software process all your program because of because of only two things one is java runtime environment inside the java runtime environment java virtual mission will be there java virtual mission will be there your question is where my program is going to sit there your programming interface is only for your reference purpose you are going to see the program what you have written but actual process is that program will be converted into byte level code or so mission level code that code will be executed by java virtual mission sorry java runtime environment and it will give the output to jdk the output will be seen in console window any questions did you understand did i convey the answer to you